Essa do ma cha cha, rock a chica ra cha, ring a ding a ching a mingo. Essa do ma cha. Hello there. Uh, it is time for another update. Today is Saturday, July 3rd, July 4th weekend. How about that? 11 years ago this weekend, I moved into my condo in Mesa. And now here I am in Ecuador. I thought I would do this video today about finances. A lot of people have asked me, well, people asked me long before I came here, you know, what does it cost to live there? Besides, why are you going there? And, and so I, I use a program, I use a program on my computer called YNAB. It stands for You Need a Budget. We call it uh, YNAB, all of us veteran users. I've been using it since they came out. It's been several years now. Matter of fact, I get their, uh, I get a discount price because I'm one of the charter uh, users of the program. So it costs me about half of what it costs most people, and I'm forever grateful for that. Uh, anyway, I use YNAB to track 99.99% of all of my expenses for here in Ecuador last month. And I've got them here on the computer, so let's go there and take a look at it, and I'll explain everything to you. Okay, here we go. Here's my spreadsheet. The first thing, I, I, I sorted everything by from the highest to the, the lowest, okay? The first item here is my rent, $700. That includes my water, my security, and the internet. I do have to pay the electric bill. When I first moved here, I thought my electric was included, but I found out afterwards that it's really not. So, uh, anyway, $700 for my rent. Dining out was my second biggest expense. That's $270.84. Mostly breakfast and coffee breaks, and that's about the truth. I don't really go to dinner that often. I try to do most of my dinners here at home, which accounts for my grocery budget, which you can see here in the next line, which is $251 in 67 cents. Now, by the way, this is for the month of June, my first actual full month here. And there are other expenses that's not on this list here, but and the reason why I didn't list them is because they're not part of my normal budget. So, but anyway, I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But anyway, my grocery budget, about a third of that's beer and wine. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's really all that accurate. I'd say maybe. A quarter of it is because it seems to me like the biggest chunk of my dollar at the grocery store goes to beer and wine. I don't I think I don't drink rum anymore because I, I, my, this would be $351. Hey, maybe I can afford that. No, I don't do it. I have another bucket item in my budget called Forgot to Budget, and there's $194.51. These are items that I don't have a budget item for. I don't know, I don't really know what that is it's probably I think 170 of that is a pair of sunglasses I bought and that I lost already uh, those Oakley's and the rest of it is I don't know what home which is right here household goods like my iron pressure cooker fan etc that was $127.28 my next one is the pharmacy $121.91 now that's prescriptions lotion band-aids that I had to use for my a blister that I had on my foot and so forth, little stuff like that, you know, and that's probably pretty high for a month. And I don't really, hopefully, I won't need to buy. I know that about probably sixty dollars of that is prescriptions. Clothing is the next one, one hundred and ten dollars and seventy one cents. Shoes and T-shirts from Amazon that are ordered in the states, had them shipped to Leticia's, and I'm hoping that she will send those to me via DHL. It'll probably cost me more than 110 71 to have it shipped here. But be that as it may, that's what it costs. That's what I spent. I can't find shirts here that fit me because I'm too big. Uh, I could save that for a whole other video. But anyway, the next item is um, medical. Uh, $60 for my broken toe. That was for the... What is the doctor? Bone doctor. Doctor... Um, orthopedic surgeon that was sixty dollars for him and forty dollars for my general practice doctor that came by to see me when I first got here next one is subscriptions that's 
actually 45 of that, 7320, and out of that, 45 of it was for this renewal, this yearly renewal for YNAB, and the rest of it is monthly subscriptions like Adobe Cloud and Netflix. Thank you, Netflix, for allowing me to share with my sister and Jeannie. If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't have it. But anyways, it's okay. My electric bill for June was $32.34. As soon as I get my cedula, I'll be able to reduce that by 50% because people over 65 get 50% off discount on their uh, utilities. Tips. Tips 2725. That includes the guards downstairs that help me with stuff like taking big loads of trash out, helping me bring my groceries up. They even open the, the garage door downstairs when they see me coming up the street on their cameras. And they'll open the garage door just enough for me to get through. And I don't have to walk up the stairs to get into the building. And I'll take the elevator on up to my apartment. And those guys are really great. And so I tip them a dollar here and there. My cell phone, 2320. It'll be 50% off when I get my cedula. So it'll be $10 plus tax. My laundry, 1850. Weekly laundry services. This is awesome. This lady comes by on Monday, picks up my laundry, brings it to me on Tuesday. It's usually $6 to $7. It depends on how many pieces I have. She does a great job. She folds everything. And if I wanted to do the laundry myself, I could do it for $3 a load down in the basement. And then, but I have to stay there while it's being while everything's being washed and everything's being dried. It's cheaper and easier for me to have somebody do it for me, and I'm helping to support the local economy. ATM fees. This is kind of a washout because I get all this refunded by swab. Then water. Water is my five-gallon bottles of water that cost two dollars a piece, and I usually tip a dollar for the guys to bring them upstairs. Because these bottles weigh about 45 pounds, and that's how I wrench my back, just picking one of those up. So I'll let them bring them up. $2 a bottle. And so far in June, or yeah, in June, I had I had three bottles. So that's it. Total, $2,065.41. That's a total of 24784 per year. And if you see on my note here, approximately 400 of this amount is not normal. These are mostly one-time purchases that I won't be making on a regular basis. That being the case, then my monthly, I estimate my monthly budget should be around $1665.41, which is $19,984.92 a year. That's pretty good living, and I have everything I need. So that's it. That's my budget. That's what it cost me in June. Well, as you can see, it's pretty cheap to live here. I, my budget <clears throat> is uh, really not much different than the budget that I had back home, except I don't have some of the expenses here that I had back home, like car payments and insurance and gasoline and stuff like that, homeowners insurance, every, so much less, okay? So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, if you got any use out of this, please give me a thumbs up thumbs up okay and if you like you can subscribe and if you like even more you can ring the bell and you will get notifications from YouTube whenever I post a new video like this one okay have a nice day from Ecuador Monta Ecuador in the Manabi province thanks for watching